Hi, my name is Abhishek Patel. I'm a founder of Webion Systems. In this video, we will see the record and replay feature of Test Complete. So first download and install the Test Complete. And now if you want to test your application on Google Chrome, then you have to have this Test Complete extension for Google Chrome. For that, you have to type Test Complete extension for Chrome and it, you have to click on this first link about Smartware test extension. Now click on this link. It will take you to the extension. From here you can download and install the extension and once it is installed, the extension will show up on your Google Chrome browser. I will put this link inside the description of this video so you can directly install the extension for your Google Chrome browser. Okay. As a part of automated testing, I'm going to use this, the internet.herokuapp.com as a tested app. And I'm going to automate these actions that is clicking on add and remove element link. And here, I'm going to click on add element button and verify that delete button appears on the screen. First, I'm going to create the project. For that, click on this file menu, new and new project and give the appropriate name for your project. Here I'm going to give Heroku app. And this is the project location. You can change it as per your need. I'm going to keep it as a default. And here you can select the scripting language for your project. Since I'm familiar with JavaScript, I'm going to select JavaScript. And these are the optional options that we will look in the future videos. That's it. And now click on the finish. Test complete will create this project structure. This is the name of the project, Heroku app. Inside this collection named as Project Suite, which is the Project Suite is the collection of all the projects. Since I have one project, it has only one project called Heroku app. Inside the project, I have these couple of folders. One is keyword test and the second is script. Inside the keyword test, Inside the keyword test, we will have the collection of all the keyword test and inside the script folder, we will have the collection of all the scripts associated to the automated testing. So now first, let me rename this test one to the appropriate name of the test. Here I'm going to write add and remove element double click on it and on the right side this is the IDE or integrated development environment where all the user actions are recorded. So either you can record it by clicking on the <coughs> record new test or by clicking on the append to the test or you can even manually add the steps here. So the first step I want is to run the Google Chrome browser and navigate to my tested application. I am going to do it manually. So for that, you have to click on this web. And here, uh, there is the one operation called run browser. I'm going to drag and put it here. And now, as I want to test my application on Chrome, I'm going to select Chrome, next and the URL for my tested application that is this one. So I'm going to copy, open the test complete and paste it here and finish. So this step is going to open the Google Chrome browser and navigate to the Internet Heroku app. Further, I can either add the steps manually or I can record all these steps. Let's record all these steps. For that, I'm going to click on append to the test since I want to 
add the user actions inside this test click on it and it will ask where I want to add the steps so I would say to the end or to the current position I would select the to the current position and as you can see here test complete recording this is the dialog box where it shows the progress of recording so recording is started now this is the pause button stop button and add checkpoint now let's click on this add remove element button or URL click on add element button now I want to assert that delete button appeared on the screen for that I'm going to click on add check button it, it will open this window checkpoint wizard and here I have to select this object property most of the time you are going to work with the object property we will see the further properties in the next video click on the object property now click on this little target like symbol click and drag it and drop on this delete button it will open this checkpoint wizard again now click on the next and here you can select the property you want to assert now I want to assert that this delete button appears on the screen if it is not showing up here you can click on this more properties and I want to see if it is visible on the screen here it is visible on screen I'm going to select this property finish and close the browser and stop the test and now test complete will process all the action and all the actions are recorded here in form of steps this is the test visualizer which shows the controls which test complete interacted with during the time of recording so when I click on this button add element if you can notice here the control from this first screenshot jump to the second screenshot and button add element is here inside this screenshot so when I click on this link it shows me which link it clicked on okay when I click here on this third screenshot it will show me where, where is that action inside this area okay so now I can even edit the actions I can delete the actions or I can add the actions there are many actions there are some actions that you may want to delete it for example this navigate if you look closely these are kind of both same actions so I am going to delete this navigate actions and if you see all this like link button add element these are the objects so when I right click and go to this option show object in name mapping editor it will show me the object and the property it uses to identify that control I can rename this and I'm, I'm going to rename it as add remove element link and it will ask the name mapping item alias dot 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 was renamed but this name is used in the keyword test do you want to do you want test complete to correct the keyword test and if I click on yes and if I go back to this test and as you can see the link is now changed to add remove element link I'm going to create the video just dedicated to this name mapping feature of test complete so do not worry about it at the moment but just keep in mind that you can change the name of this object just by right click and going to the name mapping editor and change it here and it will show up or reflect it inside your test okay now let's run this test in order to run this test all I have to do is right click it and run add and remove element test and as you can see it opened the Chrome browser now as per the test it should navigate to the tested URL and it did navigate it now it should click on the add remove elements link 
add element button and it performed the assertion and our test got passed okay so test complete has this feature where it generates this log file and it has the steps which perform during the testing so first is google chrome was launched navigated to this url the window was clicked with left button expected and actual value and all other steps so here visible on screen equals to true so delete button was visible on screen it is equal to true okay that's it in this video so we will see the further features of test complete in the future videos so if you need a software testing consultation or software testing training then visit to our company's url that is www.webyonsystems.com and on the home page click on this contact us button which will take you to the contact us section of the website now here either you can write us at contact at webionsystems.com or you can call us at this number if you are from india or at this number if you are from united states or the canada thank you